Uh, that's my screen. Yes, my screen is shared. Hope uh, everyone can able to see my screen. Done. So right now I'm going to explain you about. Okay. So what are the things that we had seen in the last class? Last class we had seen about the overview about the Google uh, search advertisement. We had seen about you know what are the places the Google advertisement will be shown. And we had seen about what are the additional extensions that will be shown along with the Google advertisement. For an example, we had seen something like, you know, uh, we had seen something like call extensions. We had seen something like call out extensions. We had seen something like site link extensions, etc. And apart from this, we had okay, we had learned about how we are paying the Google and, uh, you know, based on which factor Google is calculating the cost per click algorithm. So those things we had learned. And apart from this, we had explored about the Google Ads platform and we had seen some of the basic data about how the Google Ads platform will be looking like and, uh, you know, what we can able to do with the Google Ads platform. Okay, so these are the things that we had seen yesterday. All right. So for today's class, uh, we are going to continue from the same place. Uh, we are going to explore something more in detail about how to create a search advertisement. And uh, we are going to use the same platform to create a search advertisement. And, uh, you know, during creation of the search advertisement, we are going to explore many things like, uh, you know, what is the keyword search results that people are searching for and what is the search volume that is happening for this particular keyword and that particular keyword and what are the relevant keywords. So we are going to see all those details. All right. Find it. Uh, let us go into the class of the let us uh, move into the today's class and uh, let me to open the Google Ads now. Oh, Vinay. Uh, hello, Vinay. Yeah, hello, sir. How are you? I'm good. Thank you very much. Welcome back. So, what a surprise that you had suddenly joined with uh, today's session. Uh, actually, just I want to know what is going on here. Okay. So, today, you know, we are talking about the Google advertisement, Google Ads. Okay. Sir, maybe you will start Facebook and Instagram. Facebook? And Sure, sure. Vinay, this is a known fact that, uh, you know, tomorrow, the next week we are going to start the Facebook advertisement. Oh, sure, sure. And Thank if you, you, sure, sure. If you want, you can uh, see today's class. That's not a problem. You can, uh, you know, you can uh, mute yourself and you can attend this class one more time. Not a problem. As per your convenience. And uh, we'll be starting okay. Facebook from next week. All right. Great, Vinay. Yes. In fact, when uh, Loganath started the talking about physical therapy, uh -huh. I was remembering Dr. Vinay only. <laughs> of course, even <laughs> I do remember. I mean, I do yes. remember Vinay as Vinay only. But I just, I was thought that, okay, are, are, Vinay had just last week, he had left and suddenly he had emerged yeah. here. Okay. 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 Fine, that's great. I will let me to start. Okay, so this is a Google Ads platform that we are talking uh, right now. You know, the Google Ads platform, uh, this is the platform where we are going to create the search advertisement. Something like this kind of advertisement that we'll, we will be creating using the Google Ads search advertisement platform. Okay. So let us explore how this platform has been categorized and how we can able to create an advertisement. Okay. All right. So uh, this is how the Google Ads platform has been categorized into. Suppose for an example, uh, if we consider that we are going to create a new advertisement, new search advertisement. So what are the things that, uh, you know, uh, we have to uh, enter into? So hopefully, you know, we know the default uh, answer. Like for an example, 
if we are creating a new search advertisement we are going to be required we require text to be uh, you know written in title then we require text to be written in description then we require text to be written in uh, you know url and then you know extensions i will let you know what is this extension and etc okay and then what do we require we require which location that we want to target that page we are not uh, simply going to target the complete uh, we are not going to simply target the complete world but we will be providing some location that this is the location that i want to run the advertisement so that we will know then the third thing what we will be uh, we are, what we, will, we have to provide the reader is you know the keywords uh, what are the keywords so that my advertisement has to be running we are not going to run the advertisement for the entire category but we will be running the advertisements for a specific uh, category of keywords so what are the keywords that i want to run the advertisement so these are the basic data that we are going to feed into the uh, you know google right so this reader by default you know by uh, having a general uh, questions we, we might able to uh, you know got got this we might able to understand these details that de these details we have to provide but apart from this what are the additional data that we will be providing for an example i'm saying we will be providing like what is the daily budget that i'm going to give for google that uh, you know uh, within this budget i can i'm ready to make the promotion so this is one data that we will be providing and similarly we are we will be also providing something like you know maximum cpc so that means what suppose for an, as i had already told you the bidding is uh, something you know it happens based on what is the other is what is the other person is bidding and how how much we are ready to make the bidding and etc right suppose if we fixed a maximum cost per click to be 20 rupees if there is a place where the uh, person where the one of the you know if there is a top position that position has been uh, you know people are bidding for a value of 25 in that place uh, our advertisement will not be shown and even we will not be competing with them but we will be competing in the place for an example in the third position or might be in the fourth position where the cost per click is bidding around 14 rupees or 15 rupees uh, in that position our advertisement will be competing okay since we had given the maximum cost per click as 20 rupees if someone has given a bidding of 15 rupees uh, our bid will automatically fixed to 16 rupees so that our advertisement will be start to shown in that particular location okay so this is what it will be we call it as uh, you know uh, bidding which is going to happen inside google platform based on the maximum cost per click that we are going to provide it to google okay suppose if it doesn't give any cpc cost per click we does not given anything we had simply given a daily budget that uh, you know every day i'm ready to pay some 200 dollars so what the google will do so google will try to find any place wherever you know the opportunity strikes suppose if there is a place where you know the charges is uh, one dollar in that location if uh, our advertisement uh, has to show it will show okay so we will be uh, giving the maximum cost per click so this detail will be providing to google and apart from this we have option to provide what is the maximum cost per click for each and every keyword and etc and uh, we will see all those details okay so this is what i'm trying to explain you using this google ad structure platform okay so whatever the data that we, we are about to go we are about to uh, provide to the we are about to create for a single advertisement those data we have to provide in this google ad structure okay so let me to tell you let me to explain you how this ad structure works so this is something like you know a folder inside a folder you can consider the campaign as the master folder and ad groups are multiple folders which are inside a master folder and ads and extensions are files which are inside the subfolder okay so campaign is a master folder and these are subfolders and these are files inside the subfolders okay so this uh, this is how the hierarchy inside the google ads platform will be working so even if we require to create a single search advertisement we have to create a single campaign we have to create a single ad groups and we have to create a single ad okay so we can't able to create an advertisement directly uh, without creating an ad group and we can't able to create an ad group without creating a campaign okay hope you understood the flow right so inside a single so we can able to have uh, multiple campaigns and inside each campaign we can have multiple ad groups and inside each ad group we can have multiple ads okay all right hope you might uh, understood this uh, particular uh, you know uh, format uh, clearly and right now coming to the point you know the campaign is a place where we will be providing the master configurations for the particular segmented ad groups and ads suppose for an example 
you know uh, if i am making a advertisement specifically targeting a particular location let me do say i had chosen a place called you know texas in us i want to run the advertisement only in texas okay so that location specific details will be provided in the campaign level so once you once if i had given the data that i'm going to target only the texas then whatever the ad groups that are inside uh, those advertisements will, has to obey the rules and regulations of campaign so all the ad groups uh, which might be group 1 group 2 or group 3 all the ad groups has to target only texas and it can't able to go away from texas and it can't able to run for any other you know it, it can't able to run for any other location it can't able to run for uh, you know something like you know new york or california or whatever no other no other place that it can able to jump and run the advertisement for okay so in the location factor that will be provided that will be configured in the campaign level and similarly we will be providing what type of campaign that we are going to create uh, for our advertisement that will be configured in the campaign level suppose for an example i'm going to run a search advertisement suppose for an example i'm going to run a display advertisement suppose i'm going to create a youtube advertisement so that uh, campaign configuration will be configured in the campaign level all right okay and the third one is you know uh, what is the kind of algorithm that i'm going to use for the cost per click suppose for an example uh, there are three types of configurations are available one is maximize clicks when i had given the maximize clicks uh whatever the you know the google will try to provide as much as clicks possible within the budget suppose if i had given a budget of you know for an example 500 dollars per day so google will try to spend that complete 500 dollar within that day and it will try to provide as much clicks as possible for that 500 rupee 500 dollars so that means what even a single click in the place where you know the cost per click is 1 dollar it will be running in the place where cost per click is 5 dollars it will be running where there is 0.25 dollar it will be running so ultimately the goal is to consume as much date as much uh, you know uh, what to say consume the complete budget and to give as much clicks as possible so that is what we uh, had provided the goal as maximize clicks okay and then next what we have is the enhanced cpc so enhanced cpc in the sense suppose for an example we had provided a budget that budget is for an example Twenty dollars. Uh, sorry, cost per click. Right, we had provided a cost per click to be one dollar, and this one dollar has been running for twenty keywords. For that twenty keywords, ten uh, keywords are bidding under one dollar, and remaining ten keywords are some some keywords are bidding for two dollar. Some keywords are running for three dollar. Some keywords are running for four dollar. So in that case, what this cost, what this enhanced CPC will do is after analyzing. and uh, if it found that the advertisement is not running for the next 10 keywords because of the budget issue this enhanced cpc model will automatically increase the bidding that we had fixed the bidding which we had fixed is $1 right so from this $1 it will increase to 1.5 1.05 $1. then $2 then $3 so in this way it will check in order to in such a way that we are ensuring that uh, the minimum cost per click uh, has been achieved for all the keywords which are there which we had used in the ad group okay so this is what enhanced cpc is and next one what we have is the manual cpc so the manual cpc is something like you know we i had fixed a value and that value is $1 for a single click in that case whatever happens the cost per click will not rise above the $1 okay so that is what we call it as manual cpc okay all right and apart from this we have some more additional configurations that we can in done we can do it in the campaign for an example like for uh, i had given a search term i had given a search term called you know for an example to 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 um, okay let me to take a one of the example for um, wedding wedding anniversary let me to give it as uh, i had let me to uh, i had given a keyword called wedding jewels okay and uh, somebody is searching for how good is my wedding jewels so that is not a buyer intent search they are searching for something like a blog or something like that you know they want to share some information so in that case our advertisement when when it has been shown for that keyword we will not be getting any potential customer and which is not going to be useful for us so if we found some of the keywords for which our advertisement is running and those keywords are not important for us 
or something which is not relevant for our business those keywords we can able to take and we can deploy it in this negative keywords so in that case next time for the same keyword the advertisement which we had created will not be running so that is what we call it as negative keywords so if we deploy keywords in the negative keywords for those keywords the uh, our advertisement will not be running okay hope you understood this point so these are the configurations that we can able to do it with the campaign level configurations so once uh, if we configure these details all the advertisements and groups whatever that we create inside the campaign has to obey the rules and regulations of campaign so some uh, two negative keywords if i had uh, deployed in this uh, campaign level even if this key, even even if these keywords are available in ad group then also the advertisement will not be running because the campaign level is a master configuration all right that's great now let us come to the ad groups okay so ad groups is the place you know ad groups is the place where we are going to deploy our keywords into the uh, keywords that we are going to target suppose for an example let us assume that i am running a departmental store and there is a category called food items and there is a category called uh, you know uh, mobile accessories okay so for the people who are coming for food items uh, they will be searching for some uh, details regarding the food items rice dal and etc etc and uh, those kind of you know searches i'm going to categorize into group 1 so how do i do that so i am going to create a category called uh, you know something like you know food uh, food items and in that particular category in that particular ad group i'm going to add all the keywords regarding the food item like for an example buy rice online uh, get rice home delivery get rice food delivery or something like that you know whatever the keywords that are coming into a category those should be created into a single ad group okay and the next category suppose for an example there are food fears which are available so if i want if i had created a separate ad group called food fears and in that food fears i will be adding all the keywords which are related to the food fears something like you know uh, ladies uh, ladies food fears and gents food fear kids food fear etc etc so those keywords i will be deploying into the group 2 right ad group 2 and the group the group 3 we can use it for something else like mobile accessories hope you understood like hope you understood uh, like you know it is based on a category that we are going to categorize the keywords and uh, we will be deploying the keywords into group 1 group 2 and group 3 okay so we can able to create uh, any custom name that is not a problem but ultimately the ad groups will have multiple ad groups uh, each group can have uh, keywords based on the category that we had uh, you know we had split it up okay all right so now uh, what are the options that are available with the keywords that we had created using the ad groups so what are the options that are available we have phrase match we have exact match we have broad match so what is that uh, phrase phrase match exact match and broad match refers to suppose for an example uh, you know i had created a keyword and that keyword you know uh, the keyword name is uh, by uh, footwear online so this is the keyword that i had chosen okay so if i had chosen this keyword into this phrase match okay so if somebody is searching for buy footwear online in uh, you know any location in bangalore or in hyderabad for those keywords also the advertisement will be running okay so phrase match in the sense it will look only whether the same phrases were available in the keyword search that audience are searching for buy footwear online if this is the keyword it will check whether the people who are searching for a keyword has the same keyword in their particular keyword search that's all so in that case phrase match will be running the advertisement for all the keywords which are all extended versions of the keyword that we had chosen okay all right now when we come to the exact match suppose for an example for the same keyword by footwear online if i had deployed that particular keyword in the category called exact match so what will happen so in that case only when people are searching for exactly like buy footwear online then only the advertisement will be running if somebody is searching something like you know buy footwear online in uh, you know some locations called delhi or mumbai for those locations for those keywords the advertisement will not be running so exact match in the sense only exact match the keywords has to be there and nothing Uh, nothing uh, you know prefix or uh, you know uh, post uh, fix should not be there when we are running the advertisement keywords for exact match and what is this broad match suppose for an example for the same keyword buy footwear online if i had deployed in this broad match uh, what will happen uh, when people are searching for buy slippers online or some when people are searching for uh, 
uh, instead of buy, you know, you know the, when people are searching for something like, you know, buying footwear online, etc., etc., you know, when people are having a broader search term, uh, the advertisement will be running. Even if the format is something different, suppose for an example, uh, buy uh, slippers uh, in the evening online. In that case also, the advertisement will be running. Okay, I'm just saying an example. Uh, in uh, It will consider only the same keyword and relevant keyword in any format, whether if it is available, the advertisement will be running. So that is what broad match. You can consider the broad match like a category. Whatever that comes into the category and whatever uh, comes into the relevant category, the advertisement will be running. Okay, so that is what we call it as broad match. Okay, all right, fine. And what are the other options that we have? We can specifically provide a keyword pricing. We can specifically increase a keyword based on percentage. Suppose for an example, a manual CPC, we had provided a cost per click as, uh, you know, $1. And in this ad group for each and every keyword, we can able to provide the keyword pricing as increased to 200 percentage, specifically for two or three keywords. So in that case, what will happen for those keywords, the cost per click will be $3. Okay. And the remaining keywords, it will be of 100 percentage. That means what cost per click will be same $1. So that specification we can able to provide in this ad groups. Okay. All right. Now let us come to the third one, which is ads. So inside this, let us consider that inside the group one, we have single advertisement. Okay. So that is what we call it as, uh, you know, ads and etc. for an example ads. So what are the things that we will be having inside the ads? Hope you might be knowing if you want to create an ad, we require title, we require URL, we require description, right? So these are the three things that we have to uh, enter into the, we have to provide while we are creating an advertisement. So those advertisement creations, we will be doing inside the ads group or inside the ads category. Okay. So that is how, you know, uh, we will be creating. So we will, we can able to have multiple ads inside a single ad group. I'm sorry. Yes, that's true. We can able to create multiple ads inside a single ad group. Okay. All right. Uh, hope you might be clear on the structure of how the Google ads, uh, you know, we uh, will be behaving like and how we have to create the advertisement inside the Google ads platform. Okay. And now we are going to explore into a detailed segment of the same thing, how it has been uh, used inside the Google Ads platform. Yes. Any questions? Uh, yeah. So in the location, okay. so for example, okay. if, uh, city is there, like Hong Kong is there. Okay. So what I, what I want to know is okay. in Hong Kong, we have different, different uh, areas like districts, right? Yes different districts so if i want to target different districts uh, mm. uh, uh, for the um, uh, keywords to uh, you know catch the uh, okay. client from different uh, areas then okay. that is also is it available like if i say like central mm. hong kong or kowloon side something like that yes uh, so area? yes you are the answer is of course you can able to select yeah. multiple locations inside the hong kong oh, itself and also okay. you can narrow down the uh, location where you want to target up to even okay. five kilometers from your shop location suppose if the, okay. your shop is there within five kilometers only i want to run the advertisement that is possible uh, and similarly uh, i want to run multiple okay. locations in hong kong for the same uh, ad group and ads that is possible okay so another one is um, the keywords about the keywords okay uh, what happens like if in particular uh, subject like yoga mm -hmm. the, the term is hatha yoga okay so hatha yoga means uh, it's a uh, it's like uh, regarding teaching okay mm -hmm. the teaching things okay. so uh, what about if one company one one school is mm -hmm. adjusting this uh, keywords of yoga related for the business okay. totally it's it's using a lot of keywords mm -hmm. uh, which uh, which are uh, which even i need to use it how then the, does it work like that? I can also use that word. So means, uh, means you know that uh, this is the keyword is generally can be used by all the companies or uh, I have to still I have to if somebody is exhausting, uh, then I have to test the uh, keyword something. Like that. I'm sorry. Can you come again one more time for this place? You have, you have told that something like you know Atha Yoga and uh, yeah. If, if, uh, uh -huh. Yes, there are so many keywords in the yoga. Okay. Uh, so what I'm asking is, uh -huh. what if uh, other company is using Hatha Yoga okay. and uh, I'm also, I also want to do the, uh, use the same keyword, uh -huh. 
Okay. Uh, is it applicable like that? Like, for example, another is like yoga teacher training, or uh, hatha yoga teacher training, or uh, vinyasa yoga teacher training. Okay. Something like that is uh, they are using. Mm -hmm. And uh, how about I can also use the, the same keyword? I understood your question now clearly. Uh, to answer your to answer your question, you know. Uh, same keyword for an example people who are searching for hatha yoga if the competitor had uh, running the advertisement for the same keyword we can able to run the advertisement that is point okay. one. and the second one is uh, both the company's advertisement will be shown for the same keyword hatha yoga one will be taking the first position and the other will be taking the second position uh, the first portion and second portion is going to be depends upon the ad rank quality that we have and what is the value that we are going to bid for the particular position most of you know based on those formula the ad rank will be decided but usually for the same keyword both advertisement will be running okay and one more thing is hatha yoga is different and uh, learn hatha yoga is different uh, okay so so it means that the keywords is like i have to, we have to we have to intellectually think and uh, see what the what the 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 searching the google searches are uh, uh, yeah. using often the yeah. keywords so uh, what sort of uh, keywords they will use like that we have to think and then we have to yeah. uh, I mean um, uh, yeah. we have to make that keywords like one yeah. keyword and also what you said is learn hatha yoga is something yeah. additional uh, yeah. for the particular you know it's yeah. also a keyword yes like joining one two keywords right yes i understood so uh, you know actually we have to start with our intellectual but we don't require to continue with your with our intellectual suppose for an example if i'm going to target some keywords uh, the option is you know i can enter the basic primary keyword hatha yoga and what are all the relevant okay. keywords that people are searching for all those keywords okay. will be populated by google uh, ads platform itself so uh, okay, okay. we can able to pick whichever the keyword that are relevant for the industry and uh, we can able okay. to go for it that's all okay okay but if we have a detailed analysis on the keywords we can able to make a uh, much great profit uh, okay. because most of the people they will be typing in the same way hatha yoga and there will be some wow. 100 keywords will be shown and among the 100 keywords they will be picking up the top 10 but if we have okay. a proper study and if we found that these keywords are having higher number of search results and these keywords are having lower number of search results and this cost per click is less and etc etc then we can able to create a advertisement which can able to provide us a better return on investment suppose for an example for the same 10 rupees we can able to get uh, double times of leads so that is possible if we have a keyword research on the advanced level if we are going for a keyword research Okay. Okay. Sir. So ultimately, okay, that's what I, you know, I want to say. We can able to get the relevant keywords from Google itself. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, all right then. Fine. So let us go to the next. Uh, uh, you know, uh, let us jump into the Google Ads platform and see how these things are applied. You know, how these things has been applied in the Google Ads platform. And before that, let me to check if there is any questions for me in the chat. If it is not, I can go and uh, continue with the Google Ads platform okay so right now i'm going to you know explore the google ads platform so as i had already told you the google ads platform uh, ad structure will be campaigns inside the campaigns it is ad groups and inside the ad groups it is ads and extensions right so the same setup is available in the left hand side panel so here we can able to see the top level is campaign and the secondary level is ad groups and the third level is ads and extensions okay and rest of the deed rest of the things are uh, something which are like you know sub settings of the particular category ads or might be ad groups or campaign i will explain you all those details i will explain you all those functionalities in detail and uh, in order to uh, you know explore the same structure what we had learned in the board uh, let us go for the campaigns now and uh, in the campaigns i can able to see all the campaigns that i had created for this particular project okay so i had created multiple campaigns and each and every campaign will be targeting one location and each and every campaign will have some different budget per day and each advertisement will have its own settings like you know whether it is a display advertisement or search advertisement or etc etc okay all right so now uh, now uh, you know when we are going to uh, explore uh, when we are going to check out what are the details that are there inside a single campaign what we have to do is first let us choose the one campaign and we will see what are the things that are inside so I had chosen the 
campaign called DM Projects Lead Generation. Okay, so this is the campaign that I had chosen. So inside the campaign, I can able to see the ad groups. Okay, so right now inside the ad group, I have a single ad group. And if I want, I can able to create multiple ad groups. Okay, all right. So now, uh, you know, if I want to see what are all the settings that are available inside the campaign, I can go for this settings option. Okay, uh, so for, you know, I hope you understood, right? You know, I am inside the campaign level now. So what are all the details that are showing here? Everything is for the campaign level. The keywords is for campaign and the audience is for campaign and the settings is also for campaign. It is taking time and uh, let me to try for a refresh. Okay, I had got it. So, uh, you know, you can able to see here, these are the campaign settings that has been already created. So you can able to notice there is a campaign name and its campaign status is nothing but whether it is switched on or switched off. That's all. Next thing is goal. And the goal, you know, I had not chosen anything, but we have the option to choose whether we are, we are going to target a sales goal or whether we are going to target a leads goal or, or whether we are going to target a website traffic you know when we choose some goal uh, suppose for an example if i had chosen the goal as sales then i have to implement a conversion tracker inside my website so that you know whenever someone purchases makes a purchase in my website they will be tracked and the the campaign can be optimized for the sales conversions okay and leads in the sense you know it is almost the same we have to uh, deploy a script in, in our page where there will be a people where there will be a, a submission form when the people and when the audience had entered the submission form and go for submit button it will be considered as leads and uh, based on those things the campaign can be optimized that is called the lead uh, lead goal okay and website traffic is something simple it does not require any coding to be there in the website and it all uh, you know it is going to work based on how much people uh, you know they had click the advertisement so that they will be landing into the website okay so that is what uh, the goal is goal has been mentioned as website traffic so it will optimize the campaign uh, for the audience based on their actions which had taken in the website sales conversions uh, sales will target the conversions and leads will target the lead the submissions and uh, website traffic will target the total amount of you know the traffic which has been uh, derived to the website so people who are all interested to uh, click and view the website the audience will be targeted and for them this advertisement will be uh, you know this advertisement uh, this uh, particular goal option will be selected and right now i had not chosen anything okay all right now then what do i have next is you know the networks so this is the place where uh, you know i can i can able to see whether my search advertisement has to run only in the google search platform or does the search advertisement has to run also in the google's search partners platform or also to the google's display platform so in the display platform uh, display platform i hope i might uh, already uh, convey to you all it is the place these are the websites uh, which had enabled the google adsense account so by which they can able to show the google advertisement in their website so in that case uh, you know the display advertisement uh, will be running the advertisement whichever has been created using the which has which has been created uh, using the uh, google ads for the display campaign Specific. sorry uh, so mostly you know uh, we are in for the display uh, display placements display advertisements it will be images okay otherwise it will be something like you know responsive display advertisements specifically created for the display network but still you know for the same display network we have the option to run the search advertisements uh, in the place of display advertisement okay so to say uh, to convey to you in much clearer way i'm going to show you an example
Okay. Search ads in display network. Okay, so right now I am seeing the search advertisement in the placement of display network. Okay, so here you know you can able to see you know this is not a best sample. I think I can able to show you something in a best location. Okay, so right now here we have Hope you can able to see this particular advertisement, you know, it is from the website ask and it is not the Google advertisement Google search engine But in this particular website uh, below this particular display advertisement We can also able to see another advertisement you know, this is something something related to the search advertisement. So which looks like a search advertisement. So the search advertisement, which is running in the display network advertisements, display placement. So, uh, you know, wherever the eligibility is there in those locations, the search advertisement will be running. Okay. So that is what, you know, uh, it has been mentioned here in this settings. Uh, that is display network. Okay. If we include this display network, our search advertisement will be running in the other websites where you know the search advertisements can be possibly able to be running uh, in those locations also the display search advertisement will be running okay so that's what the, here it says display network so right now i had chosen only the search network okay all right now the next one is location as i had already told you i had configured a location here and i had added multiple uh, locations here and we'll be exploring this while we are going to create the advertisement so i had given the countries and locations here okay and the language i can able to choose multiple languages english you know, uh, for an example, uh, we can also choose Hindi and we can choose anything Chinese or whatever languages that we are looking for those languages we can able to add along add in this particular language category. Then what do we have the budget? So daily budget. So it has been there bidding. So what is the bidding? Is it a manual CPC or is it going to be something else? Like, you know, are we going to uh, do something like enhanced CPC or manual CPC? So those data will be available here okay maximize conversions and uh, what is the cpc that we are going to target and all those elements will be there and then the duration which date the campaign is about to be started and which date the campaign has to be stopped that details will be there available in this start and end dates okay all right fine then that's great so this is good enough at the uh, starting st starting level and uh, we will be getting into these details and after that you know we will be exploring something more using this additional settings and etc okay all right that's fine that's great so now let us go let us go back to the uh, ad groups whichever is which are all the ad groups that are available inside the campaign right now i had created only one ad group and inside that ad group i can able to see all the keywords that i had uh, you know created inside the single ad group those keywords are listed here okay all right so along with this keywords you can also able to notice one thing here it has been provided a uh, you know uh, what is this actually colon i think exclamatory mark oh no i'm sorry okay i'm sorry you know you can able to see here you know uh, double quotation mark so that has been represented here and this that represents a phrase match okay when I change this particular keyword to broad match, the double quotation has been taken away. Okay. So without anything by default, it will be considered as broad match. Suppose if I had used a exact match, then the double quotation will be replaced by open bracket and closed bracket. Okay. So this is what, you know, we use it for representing a keyword in the phrase match, exact match and broad match.
okay all right so anyway so inside this keywords what are all the things that we have we have the option to enable and disable a keyword and we can else we can able to set what is the cost per click maximum that we can able to provide for this particular keyword and what is a match type that is phrase match or broad match or anything and then you know we have the details about uh, what are all the clicks had happened impressions and what is the average cost per click and what is the cost that we had spent and all those reports which are all related to the financials that we had spent for this each and every keyword okay so all those keywords has been available here right okay all right so now you can able to notice that inside all campaigns we had chosen uh, dm projects lead generation campaign and inside this uh, dm projects lead generation campaign we had chosen an ad group called digital marketing plan okay so this is the ad group that we had chosen okay so inside this ad group right now we are inside an ad group now we can able to notice here you know there is no campaigns or something and inside this whatever the settings that has been shown here all those settings and details are applicable are the properties of this particular ad group okay so now if i explore this particular settings i can able to see the data and the settings which i had created for this particular ad group okay so now in the settings option uh, let me to check whether i am logging out or something no okay fine no, i have got logged out by mistake okay fine then fine okay so uh, you know uh, right now i'm uh, checking out into the settings of the ad group uh, so inside that ad group i can able to see what are all the details you know as i had already told you the keywords and etc we had already provided and apart from this this is some of the basic settings which are not so highly important for us we do not require to check out what is the uh, you know settings and all those things usually it will be having something like you know uh, for an example campaign settings ad rotation will be there whether the uh, use campaign settings is the default option if you want we can change it to optimize to best performing ads so that you know best performing ads will be rotated uh, you know based on uh, whichever is performing better so those kind of settings were there okay all right so this might not be so highly critical and important for us all the settings we will be creating those settings in the campaign level itself the keywords are important for the ad groups and keyword match type are important for the ad groups okay all right now then uh, what do we have we have all the rest of the options you know which are applicable for this particular ad group now uh, we want to see what is there inside the ad group so what are the ads that has been created inside the ad group so for that what what we should what we require to do uh, we have to explore this ads and extension option so inside this we can we can able to notice all the advertisements that we had created for this particular ad group and those ads will be listed here okay so here you can able to notice i had created plenty of ads inside a single ad group and all those advertisements has been listed here so it has a title url and description and in each and every each and uh, every log every advertisement i'll be having some change of settings uh, like for an example here you can able to see seven plus years etc etc global exp experience and this advertisement says something different it says about the digital marketing service rather than an expert etc so you know we can able to change the title you know description and url for each and every advertisement and we can able to run for the same keywords and uh, you know uh, based on the best keyword best ad performing we can able to make the optimization and uh, how we can able to measure the optimization results that we can able to check it with this help average cost per click this will give us one data we can uh, target based on lower cost otherwise maximum amount of clicks uh, you know through which uh, we are getting a better conversions we can optimize based on the those data and uh, you know uh, we have multiple options to check how which advertisement is running better than the other and based on that we can able to pass the other advertisement we can run the other advertisement or else we can move the take this particular advertisement and put it in some other location or we can run all the advertisement all the time not a problem okay all right so i uh, hope you might got an overview about how the you know google uh, ad platform is working based on the ad structure and how we can able to create an ad uh, in a google ads platform okay so this is a google ads platform and in this ad platform we had learned about how to create a google advertisement okay so here if you explore as i had already told you 
if we explore the settings i think okay this is we are already inside the ad group so we can able to check only the settings of a ad group and uh, we can able to see what are all the ads inside and there is one more option called extensions so extensions are the things which are something like you know the jewels for the advertisement here you know these are called extensions uh, along with the advertisement basic elements some of the additional elements which has been added to the sites those are called the uh, what we call it as the jewels of the i mean uh, instead of saying jewels those are called the extensions okay so here you can able to notice there are four sentences which are available with the hyperlink option marketing budget email marketing social branding and paid paid ads right so these uh, links which are available with that uh, you know this is something like you know a title with the link nothing else so this is what we called the site link extension okay all right now then what is the next option that is available we also have an extension called call out extension so what is this call out extension uh, these call out extensions will be uh, you know will not be separately shown but these call out extensions will be available at the end of the description at the end of the description it will be available with a hyperlink okay so these uh, uh, call out extensions will have a title and there will be a link attached to this particular title okay so this is what we call it as call out extension okay all right then what do we have we have the structured snippet suppose for an example if we have something like you know uh we are having some multiple services that we are running and we want to categorize and show all those details to them so those things we can able to uh, create with the help of structured snippets okay and uh, the other extension is the call extension so the call extension will show our phone number along with the advertisement and uh, this call extension will help us to directly make the call if we are running this advertisement in uh, you know if we are running this advertisement in uh, mobile phone okay so we can able to directly make a call and then what do we have the other extension is the location extension and this location extension will provide us how much miles or how much kilometers we are away from the particular shop and what is the con uh, you know how to make a call directly to the shop so these options will be available in this location extension okay and apart from this we have a uh, few more extensions were also available like you know the lead generation extension and uh, you know few more extensions were available and uh, we might you know require we might if it is uh, time process we will learn about all those extensions in details and one more thing is you know the extensions are completely uh, belongs to google if, we, if google considers that you know these extensions are valid and we have to show for the advertisement in that case the extensions will be sh uh, shown and if our advertisement is not running at the right position and if it is showing in the third position or second position in that case you know google might skip some of the extensions that we had created along with the advertisement okay all right uh, hope uh, you know we had uh, understood about how the google ads platform works today and uh, you know uh, to say it in a recap you know we had learned about how the google ad structure works and we had learned about how to create an advertisement using the campaign ad group and ads category method and uh, what are the configurations that we can able to uh, provide inside the campaign and what are the keywords that we can able to add inside ad groups and what are the ads that we can able to create and what are the extensions that we can able to create and what are the things that will be create what are the things that will be uh, available inside a ad and uh, you know uh, we had seen about the settings and configurations and etc okay all right so this is all uh, for today and i think today we do not have much of the time to go for a practical session let us do one thing tomorrow on the first session we will go for a practical uh, google search advertisement creation and uh, once it is done then we will move on to the next chapter okay all right then that's all so if you have any questions you can ask me now if not then uh, we can wind up for today and we can join for tomorrow okay okay thank see you very much. thank you very much okay see thank you very much for uh, okay thank you very much and have a great sleep and a good night thank okay. you good night good night